Hi, I'm Rochelle, and this is Jeff, and we're here to introduce two new analyzers for QC laboratories. So could you tell us a little bit about that? In the converting industry, these QC labs are running permeation tests for every batch of film that they're running. And so they're literally running hundreds of tests a week. That's a lot of testing. So we consistently heard three main challenges that they have. First one really being, um, how do I run reliable permeation tests quickly for both oxygen and water vapor? Depends on the barrier. The testing and the instruments need to be easy to use and with minimal training because they have a fair amount of turnover of their staffs. Right. And budgets are always tight, and so they're always looking for ways to reduce their annual maintenance budgets, things like that. So we took that challenge on and wanted to provide a, maybe a better solution for them to help them be more efficient and lower their costs. And the result of these two new instruments that we've introduced, the new Oxtran 228 for oxygen transmission rate testing and the Aquatran 338 for water vapor transmission rate testing. And they're both specifically designed for these QC labs. So what is the difference of the new models versus the older traditional models we've had here at Amatech Mocon? It's really the capability to run four film samples at once. That's really twice the testing capacity of most normal permeation instruments with only two cells. We've also focused on simplifying the operation. So they're very simple to use for basically technicians of all different skill levels. And so they really require minimal training. So really help trying to focus on what will help those labs as best we can. Nice. So how do they test four samples at one time? It's really this new revolutionary dual film cartridge. So this one cartridge has a bottom cell for one sample, and it has a top cell for uh, a second sample. So each cartridge has two samples in it, and there's two drawers two for two different cartridges. So two times two is four. This one instrument can test four different samples, completely independent testing. And it's the same between the oxygen and the water vapor do it the same way with the same type of cartridges. So the cartridges are interchangeable. So do our new models test the same way as our old legacy models? Yes, they do. Uh, the Oxtran 228 uses the same Kulak sensor that we've used in our legacy instruments. Provides a really long life, and longer than the com competition, and comes with a four-year warranty on it and meets this important ASTM standard D3985. Um, the water vapor unit comes with our unique modulated IR sensor on it, which also meets the same ASTM standard, the 1249, that our other instruments do. And that also comes with a four-year warranty on it. So both instruments provide that reliable test results that the customers are used to getting from our other instruments. Is the size of the film sample similar to our old instruments? Yes, they both test with our standard 50 centimeter square area. Uh, like we do with our other instruments. But what makes these unique uh, is with all of our next gens and the cartridge design is that we've got this new true seal sealing system that has two seals and it flushes nitrogen between them. And what that does is it means it eliminates the need to run individual zero in the overall test cycle. So it cuts your test cycle down. You can get more testing done with these instruments because of that feature. So are these easier to use than the old instruments? Well, we've tried to design them to be easier to use. You can see the here with, with the integrated touchscreen on the unit. It makes it easy to use right while you're at the instrument. They are available without the touchscreen as well, so that it would be operated on a PC like maybe okay. some of the older traditional instruments. But they both run on our new WinPerm 2 software, which is designed to be easy to use, like I mentioned, and includes our completely automated digital control system. So every test that's run, all the parameters are completely automated. So flow, temp, and RH are completely controlled by the instrument throughout the entire test. So there's no more interaction from the technician to have to do, to do that. The new units also integrate a new software feature that we've got, the new QC mode, that's really been designed for running QC tests. All the test map parameters can be preset and stored in there. So the technicians just have to easily recall a test. Anytime they need to rerun that test, all the testing parameters, such as flow, temp, RH, conditions, are all included in that. So they get very consistent testing, consistent results across that. And each of these test methods also can be set to include the target limits for that particular test or material. So explain how these target limits work. The manager has the ability, when they're setting up a test method, to put in the target limits for that particular sample. There are the pass limits and then there are warning limits that they can set. How that works is that when the test is running, they're displayed on the screen then. So the technician has the ability to actually check the status of every test while it's going on to know, am I in limits or not? And then when the final report is printed, it actually will print the status of the end result at the top, whether it's red if it's a failure, if it's yellow if it's in the warning range, or green that it's passing, which makes it really simple for the technician to know the results of the test. 
Are there other features that make these instruments higher efficiency? Yes, in addition to the four cell testing capability and the QC mode, we've also integrated what we call a conditioning mode. Since there's two different drawers and each drawer has two different samples in it, in conditioning mode, one drawer will be in the examination, so it'll be in, engaged with the sensor doing tests, and the other one can be in conditioning mode. So the samples are being prepared to be tested. They're working in parallel with each other instead of in series. So when the sensor is done examining one of the cartridges, it's done, and it, the sensor will then be switched over and it'll start examining the other one. And then this cartridge can be changed out. You can have an extra cartridge prepared, loaded, set in, and then that one will go into condition mode while the, the first cell is being examined. And when that one's done, it'll switch over, and then this cell can be switched out. So with extra cartridges, these can be prepared and staged, ready to go, to really help the throughput of the instrument and just reduce that idle time. So what's the added cost benefits of the new models compared to the older models? Well, there's three main advantages, really geared around the ability to replace two old instruments with one new one. Being a four cell capability, it replaces two two cell units. So there's a big savings on the initial investment to replace two old units with one new one. That also reduces the annual maintenance budget by only having to maintain one instrument instead of two. And the new instruments do have higher throughput because they can test in less time. And so you, on a daily basis, you get more tests done per instrument. So Jeff, do these require a lot of operator training? No, we, we've really designed them to minimize that training. You know, as I mentioned, with the preset test conditions that are in here, you can pull up a preset method that has all the parameters set. So they're stored, they're secure. Um, the results are displayed on the screen for the technicians to be able to see what's going on. And then the final report tells them automatically, did it pass, did it fail, or does it need a retest? It really takes the guesswork out of what do I need to do? What parameters do I have to set on test? It's very, very simple with recipes, buttons, and the results displayed. And, and both the oxygen unit and the water vapor unit operate the same way. So nice. once you learn one, you can learn them both. So what are the key advantages? It's really the unique four cell testing capability. You know, it's twice the output of a two cell instrument. Or if the lab wants to run triplicate testing, they can run triplicate testing and have a reference test going on in parallel every single time really gives you a lot of confidence in the data that way. And by replacing two old ones with one new one, you're also going to save space in your lab and re reduce your maintenance costs. Those are big advantages to our customers, we're finding out. Also, the advanced uh, control system is completely digital, so it's really much easier to use than the old ones. There's no adjustments, no tracking, things like that. And they still use our legendary MOCON sensors, the Kulak sensor and the modulated IR, so they're going to provide that reliable and trustworthy results that they're looking for. So as we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, the new models we introduced this year were really geared towards the QC lab as we talked. All the features that we've designed into them to help them be more efficient and get more testing done and lower their costs. And for more information about them, they can go to our website, amatechmocon.com, or contact their local Mocon sales representative.